Actor Russell Crowe sat down with Joe Rogan and shared what turned him away from politics. Let's watch. Because I remember being extremely idealistic when I was like, you know, my teen years and, and very politically focused. And then I just got to a point where I was like, you know, everyone's a b artist. Yeah. There's not one of these guys that I can really say that, you know, I'd follow into battle. So I'll just stop worrying about politics and go into something else, you know. But you see the same processes going on with them. They're, they're trying to reach out for something to believe in. Mm. The two also said that politicians, including Kamala Harris, have a major problem with words matching their actions. Politics is the art of the possible. Mm. You know, so it's not right. It's right. not really connected to anything. It's like, what can we get away with? Right. What can we tell you that we're going to right. do and then never do it? Right. It's yeah. the art of the possible. Well, you're seeing that now in American politics more than ever because the person that's actually in office is saying what she's going to do if she gets into office. Right. Which is just like... You're there. You're there. Do this is now. madness. Like, this is... <laughs> and people are like, yeah, she's going to do it. Like, wh she's been in there for three years. Like, what are you talking about? This is crazy. But people want to believe so badly. We want someone to be the person that rescues us from whatever situation we're currently in. And they said the media is a part of the problem. Let's watch that. You know, we have such a um, an aggressive media situation and the media's need for new information, new stories, whatever that mm -hmm. you know that timeline is. You're just not going to get people of quality no. stepping into that world anymore. No. You know, no, who'd the, want to put themselves you know, through th that? There's probably hundreds of potentially incredible presidents. Oh yeah, in this country, but they're too smart <laughs> to, to walk that way. You know, yeah, it's a real problem. It's a real problem. It's only going to get worse. Mm. And our desire and our hunger for and to focus on what did he do when he was in high school? Right. You know, what did she say when she was on Twitter when she was 22? Like yeah. what? The yeah. f are you talking about? Like we have yeah. to put that sh aside. Recognize that people are just human beings, and stop dragging out old sh just to make your party win because it ruins the entire system. Yeah, well, that that is the thing, isn't it? It's just like you know, picking a color, and no matter what happens under the banner of that color, you're just sticking with the color. Yep. Can't believe Russell Crowe looks like that now. Um, a lot he of looks wisdom. Different. There. He looks different. That's too. what happens when you have a beard. You get the wisdom. So what do you, what do you know him from? I don't, but I looked him up, and I know he's in the Gladiator, and that's why he said the following into battle thing. That yeah. probably hits home for Gladiator fans. Uh, I was that's a fan of movie. the Gladiator, and they're coming out with a Gladiator sequel. Did you hear that? Well, Very how does that work? Well, he he respawns. Yes, yeah, <laughs> not him. In it. It's going to be the the kid from it is going to be grown oh, up. Oh, that's. Uh, awesome. It was a very good movie. He's terrific, and he's a terrific actor. I really like Russell Crowe. I liked him in Gladiator, um, Beautiful Mind. Did you ever see that movie? I have. I liked that. That's a good one. That's the um, math one. That's the math one, yeah. and the and the. We're doing a lot of spoilers for films that are 25 years old now. So There's fun. math in it. There's also split personalities, which is fun. <laughs> and uh, more recently, people probably know him uh, from uh, Les Mis, uh, okay. in which he plays the bad guy, Inspector Javert. Well, bad if you think it's bad to have law and order and rule of law. I don't, but uh, he is portrayed villainously, and uh, he does some some singing in that movie, which some people thought was fine. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he says we have an aggressive media environment, so everybody. Thinks oh yeah, he was. I'm, I'm being told he was Zeus in the the fourth Thor uh, fourth oh. Thor movie, which Zeus. was oh. not as good as the other Thor movies. Mm. But um, he I was can see it's it. hard to pull off like godlike magic. Even though, you know, the CGI has come a long way. You know who played Zeus really well? Uh, we're just going to totally not talk about politics for this segment at all. Um, <laughs> was uh, Liam Neeson in those Clash of the Titans movies? You stole my daughter. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Liam Neeson is just a, such a great actor. But he's Zeus. And actually, Ray Fiennes, who just plays villains so well, is Hades. And they have a great... They have a, the, the movie is only okay, but their portrayals of the gods are really good. I don't know how you have time to watch all of this media. Um, I don't... You're right, I don't have a lot of time. These are just, I, I haven't watched anything new in a long time. These are things that like, when you used to have, you know, you used yeah. to have like HBO and the TV would just be on and you would just like sit down and watch an entire movie even though you had things to do. I used to do a lot of that. Now yeah. I'm, now I'm busy. I remember the SAG after strike happened mm -hmm. and you were like, this is great. I get to catch up on all the things yep. I've been meaning to watch because they're not making new stuff. There's too <laughs> that's why you liked this much strike. <laughs> content. I just started uh, last, uh, two days ago, I started The Boys, 
which is a I comic keep being told to watch mo- uh, TV uh, evil superheroes thing. It's very good. I, I've been meaning to watch it for years. Yeah. I'm finally catching up on it. Anyway. anyway, he says we have an aggressive media environment to Joe Rogan, who's sitting right there, who's a, a big media guy. But We're talking course, about the mainstream media, not know, the yeah. cool media, not, not Jessica. Not us. Yeah. But when, like, when we criticize the media, we're not talking about ourselves. We are great. It's they been a suck. hard week for me. At first, I'm a violent extremist. Now yeah, I'm yeah, aggressive. Got, <laughs> oh, this makes you, this is how you know you're not a mainstream media figure, because you were censored on a social media platform. That's a badge of honor. Yes, I'm going to put it at the top of my CV. Okay. The, but he makes a good point in saying we need the media, mainstream media, not us, needs new stories. They're always mm. trying to find something, dig up stuff from your past. No sane person, no intelligent person would decide to put themselves and their families through that. That is a good it's point. True. A lot of people have made this point as well. He did it very concisely. Uh, we need smart people to run, but smart people don't want to run and be treated like that. It's not a good job. It's not a job smart people actually want to be the person. I mean, it's a it's a job that um, very, like, psychopathic people want, mm-hmm. people who have a psychopathic need for power and validation. I mean, to some degree, as you know, I think this as a libertarian, like someone who wants political office who wants the power to run my life, to take my money and give it somewhere else, to set rules for how I am supposed to behave. What, like, where do you get off? That's enjoyable to you to decide the rules for which, how I would live my life. It's a very weird kind of thing to want to seek that power and and then to behave in, in a way that caters to a group, group of people so that they vote for you to be the one solely responsible for making those kinds of decisions, it, it does, I think it takes a unique kind of sociopath to, to want that. And then, to, be in the, so and then to be, to your point, to be in the spotlight the whole time and to be, you can never say anything of any substance can't or interest. Can't make any good jokes. You can't make any good jokes <laughs> because you'll be canceled for it. And That's interesting you see things that way. I feel like I gained new insight into the Robbie Suave mind. I, that's why I don't like politicians. I like what he says about, you know, politics. It's politics of the possible. They're seeing what they can get away with. I saw a comedian, I wish I remembered her name, She talked about her son who's studying political science, and she's like, I'm never going to retire. But she says, when he was very young, yes, when he was very very young, no, 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 it's coming. He (laughs) wanted to know what the difference was between Republicans and Democrats. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, Democrats are people, it's like your uncle. Are they? Who always promises, no, they're lizards, Robbie. Yeah. Uh, It's like your uncle who always promises, we're going to go to Disneyland, we're going to go to Disneyland, but something always comes up. Mm -hmm. And Republicans are your uncle who says, uh, you know, we're going to go to Disneyland, we're going to go to Disneyland, cancels last minute, and then you find out he went without you. Mm -hmm. And that's the two parties we have in the United States. I thought it was a good description. Either way, you don't end up going to Disneyland. Either way, you don't end up going to Disneyland. It is possible to go to Disneyland. They promise it, but we can't follow them into battle. And by that, Russell Crowe means... Disneyland. And then the Libertarian Party and the Green Party are the people saying, uh, we can't take you to Disneyland because we don't have enough support. <laughs> <laughs> but we can take you to Six Flags and people are like, mm-hmm. in New Jersey. But like 1% of people are like, <laughs> For oh, fun, I'll go to, I'll go to, to Six New Flags. Jersey. Yeah. Are we going to have to take the turnpike? And, I don't yeah. want to go to Six Flags. I don't like roller coasters or rides or amusement or things that spin or things that go upside down. So I'll just, I'll just stay at home. More insight into the Robbie <laughs> Suave mind. Have we filled eight Beautiful minutes of time place. yet? And can we move on? I think we have. More <laughs> rising right after this.